now have the final of the men's 110 meter hurdles. Very eagerly awaited race. The world record shared between Liu Xiang when he won the Olympic title in 2004 and Colin Jackson when he won the world title 12 years ago. There is the lineup. Four men from the USA with Liu, the Olympic champion from China, and the world's fastest man this year, Lajit Ducare of France. Right next to Ducare is the man who's won this title four times, Alan Johnson. So lane one, we have Joel Brown, fourth in the US Championships, able to compete here, of course, because Alan Johnson has a wild card. Joel Brown won the US Indoor 60-meter hurdles title at the beginning of this year and has come through to run 13.22. Here is the Olympic champion and world record holder, Liu Shang. Bronze medal two years ago, now 22 years of age. Lane three, we have Maurice Wignall, who has ran impressively in the semi-final. He was fourth in the Olympic Games, just a hundredth of a second off a medal on that occasion. Alan Johnson already has five World Championship gold medals, one at the relay, four at this event, the third fastest of all time at 12.92. 1995, 1997, 2001, 2003, Champion each time and Olympic champion back in 96. Here's Laji Ducare, French record holder now at 12.97. He's beaten Johnson on the two occasions they've met this year. Terence Trammell, silver medalist at the Olympics 2000, 2004. Silver medalist also in the Worlds two years ago. Terence Trammell, a redoubtable big championship competitor. Another Olympic finalist is here in lane seven. The seventh then in Athens, Mateus Inocencio of Brazil. And Dominic Arnold, former US collegiate champion, now running better than ever at the age of 31. Second in the US Championships with that personal best of 13.01. Dominic Arnold completes four Americans in this 110 meter hurdles lineup. Juan Antonio Samranch on the left of Lamine Diak, the president of the IF. So can Alan Johnson make it five world titles? Outdoors to add to the three that he's won indoors. Or can this man, Liu Shang, add world gold to Olympic gold? Or will they both be headed by the Frenchman, Laji Ducore? So impressive this year. Man who made a mess of the Olympic final, of course, when Liu sped on to victory. Joel Brown in one, Liu Shang in two, Maurice Wignall in three, Alan Johnson in four, Laji Ducore here in five, Terence Trammell in six, Inocencio in seven, Arnold in eight. So Liu, two lanes inside, Johnson. Stadium still a buzz with that world record base in Bayeva. Now it's the men's 110 hurdles final. Straight into his running, Liu is away very well indeed. Johnson hit that hurdle, but he's running strongly. So to Ducare outside him, and Ducare and Johnson, and Ducare is coming clear, surely. Laji Ducare and running strongly on the outside, Dominic Arnold as well. Ducare and Liu finish fast as well. Well, it's going to take a photo to be sure of that. Ducare was uh, leading in the middle of the field, but Liu dipped so hard on the line there, Steve. Well, Ducare hit the last hurdle, I think, and that may have cost him the medal. We'll have to wait and see because Liu came very fast on the inside, or has Ducare been given it? Ducare's got it by a hundredth of a second, and Alan Johnson is the bronze medalist. Very close. Just three hundredths of a second separating them, and Arnold close up in fourth as well. But let's take a look at this race again. Well, you can see here, obviously, Liu got a good start. Johnson also running well in the middle of the picture. Ducare level with him at this point. But then Duque starts inching away. The tall Frenchman. 
but then over the last hurdle he hits it badly and there it is and it just drags him back and Lou on the far side almost snatches it Ducare here hits that hurdle stutters slightly loses his slight momentum and then it's the dip just gets it ahead of Lou and Johnson who dipped also very well as well in third place there's the photo and Ducare did ever so well to hold his balance after really crashing through that hurdle many times that would have put an athlete right off but he held on he lost quite a bit of ground but not such that it denied him the victory Here we go, watch Ducare all the way through. Johnson next to him, hit that hurdle fast, but doesn't tend to put off Johnson too much. Ducare now edging ahead. You can see he's got a gap over Johnson and indeed Liu. Arnold, of course, finishing fast here. Now Ducare comes up to the final hurdle and he's going to hit it hard because he, at that stage he's edging ahead. He almost stumbles, but he does really well to dive for the line. I'm not sure he'd been able to clear another hurdle, but the line came in time. Well, again, look at uh, from the head-on camera here at Ducare. Well, he runs well, I think, almost all the race. Over the last two hurdles, though, he starts leaning backwards a little bit as the pressure starts coming. And I think that just pulls his hips back a little bit. And that's why he hits that last hurdle. There was Johnson, though, on the inside of him. is hitting many hurdles, but he's used to that. So Ducare now coming up to the last hurdle, now just watch, he's going slightly backwards, catches it, dips with the hips, but still, because of sheer strength, manages to dip ahead of the rest of the field. He wasn't sure though, until they put it up on the scoreboard. Well, it can't be with a man three lanes inside you, is just a hundredth of a second behind. Laji Ducare taking the gold medal in 13.07 by one hundredth of a second from the silver medalist Liu Xiang and Alan Johnson adds to his medal haul by taking the bronze medal in 13.10. Then Americans also 4, 5 and 6.